Hey Petu, how would you say the difference between uh, different European countries and the playing style? I think the biggest difference comes in a vibrato, absolutely. Okay, let, let's the way, way how they're used to play, actually, and also about the timing, it's really important. For example, uh, let's say 100 years ago, the playing vibrato was completely different than nowadays. For example, I, I would show you the easiest way to approach the thing, and that's Germany. Yeah. This is modern German vibrato. And um, of course, there are not really records existing like 150 years ago, but uh, I suppose they, <laughs> they played like this. What a difference. <laughs> if we go to Luxembourg, they sometimes added even a second note in there. Okay, so there's, there's, there's a massive difference between different fingers. And countries. therefore, my nail color variates because uh, it's a huge thing with the balance of the finger. So if I'm more concentrating to play like uh, slow German songs, I only nail this song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you pay it, pay that. Yeah. So you balance because your hand with the... Uh, with yeah. If I would add Bell ink color. into the last finger, I would be more... It would be more easy to, for me to play fast. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the difference, yes. I think... Uh, French, they were really innovative and uh, they were the most important country for developing the vibrato from like uh, ancient vibrato to the modern because uh, <laughs> they moved the focus. So you mean that French, they invented the uh, uh, nail coloring in the cello, that they were most innovative? Yeah, I think this, it was some French dude who was the first Cellist okay. to put ink into the nail. Okay, can, can you can you show with a with a never dying melody like? Yeah. How, how it works? If I would, uh, if I were a German, I would play it like this. But because I am Finnish, halfly Finnish, halfly, you know, <laughs> halfly, half I would do it like this. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Got it. What do you do when, you, when we play that? Some <coughs> people always ask, how can you play those riffs? So what, what's the difference playing riff and classical stuff? Well, let me show you. Uh, you, you played German beat brother even if it was a French song. Yeah, no difference. Still should practice the vibrato though. Yeah, I, I have sometimes difficulties to add the vibrato on the fast riffs. It happens to me sometimes, yeah. You know, there. Should I bring it in? Yeah. Can you do that? To be serious for a while, I think the um, most important thing of playing riffs is to forget everything you ever learned. Learn. That's very true. So you just take your edges in, uh, breath, deep breath, and let it go. And we are surprising ourselves even when seeing the thing from the video. We, I don't, I didn't know that we are able to play so so fast. Yeah, it always, actually, the adrenaline. Actually, the playing is the technique that's developed, thing. and also we have this. Uh, uh, stronger hair, horse hair, in the bows and stronger rosin, which normally is used by upright double bass players. And um, when we started, it was more like. But nowadays it's like. It has an Albanian. 
Albanian flavor, but it's definitely Morocco. Okay, Morocco vibrato. Let's have a look. Yeah. Morocco with Albania. On, from uh, really old music like in Fight Fire with Fire, if there's this one, two, three. Boring so slow. Yeah, one, two, three. At least once visited Germany before he made this song. Yeah, because that must be from 16th century or so. Or maybe from England, I don't know. One, two, three. <laughs> 